Hey guys, Scarlett here, the creator of Wonder Curl. Recently, I shared a video telling you the reason that your hair is dry is because you are air drying it. In this video, I want to share with you the science behind why air drying is not the healthiest way to dry your hair. But first, let's talk a bit about what is hair. <laughs> hair is a fiber that is made up of proteins called keratin. It generally has three layers, the medulla, which is the innermost layer, the cortex, which surrounds the medulla, and there's the cuticle. The cuticle is the outer protective layer of the hair. And then there is the cell membrane complex, or CMC. The CMC keeps all of the layers intact. Not everyone has all three layers. People with naturally blonde hair or fine hair will have two layers, the cortex and cuticle. Anytime we manipulate our hair, we are causing some damage to it. So what we want to focus on here is minimizing the amount of damage that we do to our hair. We've been taught that heat is the most damaging thing we can do. So most people opt to air dry. But air drying isn't the healthiest way to dry our hair and actually is more drying than heat. I know. The idea that air drying is more drying sounds preposterous, but a study out of South Korea wanted to understand the best way to dry hair without causing damage. They sectioned hair into different groups. One group was untreated hair, a few groups were blow dried, and one group air dried. They dried and washed the treated groups 30 times in 30 days, and then looked at their hair strands under a microscope. The groups that were blow dried were dried at different temperatures and distances, but for the same amount of time. As expected, the higher the temperature of the heat that was used, the more damage they found to the cuticle or surface of the hair, but the rest of the layers of the hair were not damaged. Now, what they found with the air dried group was surprising. What the researchers found when they looked at the air dry group of hair was even though the surface or cuticle of the hair didn't appear to change, the CMC had shown a significant amount of damage. And it was only in the air dry group that had this type of damage. The researchers concluded that leaving your hair wet for a long period of time can be as harmful as drying your hair using extreme heat. You might be wondering, well, how am I supposed to be drying my hair? The researchers from the Korean study found that using low heat at about 15 centimeters distance with constant motion caused the least amount of damage to hair. Because keeping your hair wet for an extended period of time is just as damaging as extreme heat, I personally like to use a hooded hair dryer. This gives you a gentle heat that is evenly dispersed throughout your hair. You can also use the diffuser on your hair dryer, which also disperses the heat. Now, you know the best way to dry your hair and why air drying is bad. So be sure to share this video with your friends so they'll also have healthy hair.